Father, we come to you this night. Baba, tunakuja kwako usiku wa leo. With thanksgiving in our hearts, O oh God. Nashukurani katika mioyo yetu, Baba yetu. You have been a good God to us. Umekuwa Mungu mwema kwetu, Baba. Even in the month of September we have a reason to thank you and to glorify your name. Hata katika mwezi wa 9 tuna sababu ya na kukutukuza baba Even as we come to the close of this month tonight Tunapoingia mwisho wa mwezi huu jioni ya leo As a church we pledge our allegiance to you Kama kanisa tunatoa kule kujitoa kwetu kwako And ask you God to help us Na kukuita Bwana ukapate kutusaidia In this journey walk with us Katika hii safari baba tembea nasi As we move into the month of October we pray for double grace Tunapoingia katika mwezi wa kumi tunaomba baba nehema marandufu We pray for double enablement Tunaomba marandufu uwezesho We pray for double breakthroughs Tunaomba marandufu hata upenyo we pray for your presence to go with us. We declare that the month of October is blessed. Even the month of November is blessed. And the final month of December is also blessed. We will not die. But live to declare the goodness of the Lord. We will not shrink back. We will be among them that move towards their reward. Help us God even as we move into your word this evening. Minister to us we pray in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Thank you heart of worship. If there was time, I would have asked you to sing a song, but uh, next time you will do a song. Thank you very much, and uh, thank you, Shifra, for being part of the great team. We celebrate you, you know. Uh, I am sure 20 years from today, Shifra will be leading. Eh? She'll be the heart of worship leader. So, thank you for practicing. Just make sure that this sound is good and we are going to be blessed. Mamu, please check the sharpness. Make sure we are okay. So, nisalimia ni mkoo sawa? Bwana asifiwe? Amen. Wamama, bwana asifiwe? Amen. Siombu, are you fine? Judy, you are well? Mwendo, you are fine? Musau, komzima? Uh, who is this? Who am I seeing behind there? Kambua, you're well? Sawa, sawa, we thank God. It's, it's always a pleasure to see you in Ni, the house of the Lord. It's always a pleasure to see you in the house of the Lord. Because uh, if you were not here, we would not have anybody to minister to. Kwa sababu amunge kuwa hapa atunge kuwa na watu wa kudumia. And particularly this having been our month of sacrifice. Na sana sana uu kiwa mwezi wetu ambao ni wakutua kithabiu. We don't take for granted the sacrifice that you have made to be in the house today. Atudharao ya kwamba uimekua ni kujitua thabiu hata kupatikana jioni ya leo katika nyumba. I have seen cars outside at the car park. Nimeona magari pale inja katika pale pa kuegesha magari. Driven several kilometers to church. We do not compensate for that fuel. That is sacrifice. And it is definitely going to be blessed. So thank you for coming. I believe that God has a word for all of us tonight. And that we are going to be blessed even as we fellowship together. We are coming to the close of the month of September. We are resounding the vision by engaging, engaging the power of sacrifice. And you know as Mangela was leading us through the prayers tonight I was reminding the Lord of the many things that may have happened in 
the course of the months. Nilikuwa namkumbusha Mungu mambo mengi ambayo huenda yamefanyika katika huu mwezi. I may not have seen the fruit as at today. Uenda sijapata kuona yale matunda mpaka siku ya leo. But I was telling the Lord it was not about me. Nalikuwa namkumbusha Mungu ya kwamba labda haikuwa kuhusu mimi. No, no, it is not about me. Yaani si kuhusu mimi. It is about generations to come. Ni kuhusu vizazi ambavyo vinakuja. So I'm still waiting on the Lord. Kwa hivyo bado namgojea Bwana. To know why he dropped that word in the heart of his servant. Nikapata kujua kwa nini aliweka hilo neno katika mtumishi wake. And also to, uh, to enjoy the blessings that come with the, engaging the power of sacrifice. Na pia kupata kufurahia yale matunda ambayo yanakuja na kule kufanyisha kazi dhabiu. Bwana asifiwe. Praise be to God. Receive the greetings of Bishop. Pokeni salamu za Bishop. He is ministering in Kambo CCI in a revival meeting that they have today. Anahudumu kule Kambo katika revival meeting ambao wako nayo siku ya leo. Reverend Ganda also accompanied him. Na to, pia Reverend Ganda ameadamana naye. To minister in the in the revival meeting. Wandamana katika huo mkutano wa revival. Pastor Mano and Afia also sent their greetings. Pastor Mano pia na Afia wametumana salamu. They were not able to join us today. Awangeweza kuwa nasi jioni ya leo. I recognize our two pastors and their wives in the house. Nina watangua wachungaji wetu wawili na wake wao wako katika nyumba usiku wa leo. And appreciate that when we are far they take care of the church. Na nataka kutambua ya kwamba tunapo kuwa mbali wanashugulikia kwa Kanisa. Pastor Kaumbulu you preached on Wednesday and I was online so God bless you. Pastor Kaumbulu ulihubiri siku ya Jumatano na nilikuwa katika mtandao Mungu akubariki. And uh, we see also the great sacrifice that is made every morning during the morning glory hour. Na pia tunaona kule kujitoa kukuu ambao kunafanywa katika kila asubuhi wakati wa maombi ya asubuhi. Thank you Pastor Steve also for coordinating us. Asante sana mtungaji Steve kwa kutuunganisha. And uh, I saw your call and assumed that you were asking me whether I'm still coming to preach. Niliona ukinipigia simu na nikajua ya kwamba ulikuwa unanikumbusha kama bado naja kuhubiri. Yeah, that's the man in charge of ministry. Huyo ndiye anasimamia huduma. So we appreciate you together with your wives. Kwa hivyo tunakushukuru pamoja na mke wako. So uh, today uh, Mamu please pick a microphone here. I want to know whether guys have been in church. Kwa hivyo mamu pata kuchukua microphone nataka kuona kama watu wamekuwa kanisani. Uh, this has been the month of engaging the power of sacrifice. Huu umekuwa mwezi wa kufanyisha kazi ile nguvu ya dhabiu. Nienda kwa mama kanani nete the word tuateye kila kiende. Nataka kuona kama tumekuwa tukifuatilia yale ambayo yamekuwa yakifunzwa. Wenda bwa notes si yako sisi. Kama unataka fungua hata maandishi yako utazame pale. Ndo tiziendea na kuvundisia mudhembo no yithi atu hiyo manaka na ndo ti mwe na moka na ti mwe na moka. Kwa sababu hatutazidi kufunza watu kama hatujui kama tuko pamoja nao ama hatuko pamoja nao. Sasa wa mama jiandaye nini litakuja kwenu? So a mama yomba nini ukitebu? Anza huko nyuma kwa Danson. Anything that you have learned about sacrifice this month. Chochote tu ambacho umekisoma huu mwezi kuhusu dhabiu. Amen. Thank you ma'am. I've learned that sacrifice is uh, is something you give willingly and is something that the Lord has already provided. Amen. Amen. So, uh -huh, very good, very good. Ebu tuchomoke hivi enda kwa kambua niangalieni niangalieni tafadhali kuna kuangalia chini Miriam Musawa kwa sisi ya matuniba sisi ya baba ya mama haya kambua I have learned that sacrifice you give the best seal na kaka hivi unapeana ile mzuri mm -hmm. na hapo Mungu anakubariki Amen Enoch you have been following us online so let's hear, Enoch has been away for a very long time and we welcome you. Actually, Victor told me Enoch amekuja church. So to ambie, anything that umeshika during that time, umefollow during the, the services. Amen. Uh, I've learned that uh, when you are sacrificing, it is like a well that does not drain. Wow. It's like a well, ne kama kisima chenye hakikauki, Yani haina season ya kukauka. Thank you very much. Pitisha hapo kwa my brother Mathias. The English that Mathias speaks, it's only him that can speak such in this church. 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Sacrifice breaks curses. Sacrifice breaks curses. Matthias has spoken. Haya pitia huko. Kuja kwa Musao. Kwa mama mko tayari? Yeah, I'm coming there. Sacrifice ili nifunza ukipledge kama ni, ni pesa. Eh. Isichelewe. <laughs> redeem your pledges redeem your pledges amen 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 hebu tusikie mke wa mchungaji kama amekuwa akishika kitu hapa and then hapa katikati naona mwendo na judi just one person and then the other side faith i have learned that weka mic watu online wanakuambia bwana yesu asifiwe amen amen I have actually learned a lot and uh, so much has been revealed of what has been happening maybe and I have learned that sacrifice is a force it pulls you from somewhere it pushes you to somewhere and it can break generational curses Amen. and blessings and sacrifices uh zile blessings ambazo zinakuja your generations will also benefit because amen. of a seed that you planted amen amen it's a force it's a force enda kwa engineer mwendo engineer mwendo uh, praise god church amen uh, i'm good uh, through sacrifices we are told that uh, god is going to enlarge our boundaries yes so we are going to enlarge beyond our boundaries through sacrifices amen 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 hebu tembea huko enda kwa mwalimu pale mwenye amejifunga red elizabeth mwanza Praise God church. Amen. I plant that sacrifice is given out of love. Out of love. Yes, Very once good. you love something, God blesses you. Amen. So if you give sacrifice through love, mm. utapata utapata matunda. Amen. Amen. Leta hapa kwa 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 mwalimu Rebecca. Sio mbwana unaoketa. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Mejifunza ya kwamba sacrifice will fight all our battles Amen. and through the sacrifice our generations will be blessed. Amen. Amen. Siombua ume kuna kitu umekumbuka? Eh bwana asifiwe. Amen. Nimejifunza kwamba sacrifice ni kujitolea pasipo na kuchoka. Amen. Kujitolea pasipo na kucho na kuchoka. Let's clap for ourselves. So at least we've learned something and uh, we've learned something tumejifunza kitu and i pray that it will not end with september na ninaomba ya kwamba haitaisha tu na september we will be able to carry on what we have learned even into the coming months tutaweza kubeba kile tumejifunza hata kwa miezi ijayo so uh, just a recap that uh, sacrifice releases power it's a force that faith was talking about kwa marudio tu ni kwamba tabiu ni nguvu ambayo pastor faith alikuwa anazungumzia a sacrifice will lead to divine encounter and then change Adabiu uh, italeta kule kukutana kwa kiungu na pia kule kubadilika it should always be tied or done with expectation na pia inafaa kufanywa ukiwa na matumaini ama matarajio fulani so when you give your sacrifice don't just give it uh, kawaida tu umalizane nayo so when you are giving your sacrifice usitoe tu uh, umalizane nayo the ribbon that you tie around sacrifice as a gift is expectation ule upambo ama kitambao unafunga ile dhabiu kama zawadi is expectation ni kule kutarajia then a sacrifice substitutes your weakness with god's strength na pia dhabiu ni njia ambayo inaweka kando ama ina chukua ule udhaifu wako na kubadilisha na zile nguvu za Mungu. Amen. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. And then exemption will not come because of your status. Na kule kuwekwa kando ama kuhifadhiwa hakutakuja kwa sababu ya kile kiwango chako, but rather in your active participation 
with God or active partnership with God in matters sacrifice. Lakini kule ile bidii yako katika kuunganika kwako na Mungu kupitia dhabiu. And then the rest that you have given us. Na pia yale mengine ambayo mmeyanenea. So tonight I want to because we are coming to the close of the month. Na jioni ya leo kwa sababu tunakuja mwisho wa mwezi, I want to talk to us about sealing the blessings of sacrifice. Nataka tukanenea kule kufunga ama kufunika ama kuweka seal zile baraka za Mungu za dhabiu za dhabiu sealing the blessings of sacrifice kufunga zile baraka za dhabiu before we came for the service kabla tuja katika ibada we did our cooking in the house tulifanya mapishi yetu katika nyumba like just the way i know you did you were you cooked before you came kama vile najua wewe mmeyafanya kabla mje hapa and you sealed the food na mkafunika kile chakula uh, so that when you go back you can do a few warming and then you take that food ili ukipata kurudi pale ukapate kukitia moto kidogo kisha ukile then The people the manufacturers also know the essence of sealing. Na pia wale watu wanatengeneza bidhaa wanajua pia maana ya kufunika. Kaumbulu why do you think the pro, uh, the, pro, uh, the producers of safari water have a seal because this water is sealed. Just uh, tell me why do you think they have sealed this bottle? Pastor unafikiri ni kwa nini wamefunga hii chupa kabisa? They are preventing entry of foreign materials into the water or into the bottle. Wanazuia vitu ambavyo abifai vipate zipate kuingia katika hiyo chupa ama ndani ya hiyo chupa. When I came from Wote at around 6:30. Wakati nimetoka kule Wote saa 12:30. I boiled some water. Nilipata kuchemsha maji. And I put it in this flask. Na nikaweka katika hii flask. And I sealed the flask. Na nikaifunika hiyo flask. The temperature now is 84 degrees centigrade. Ile joto iliyo ndani ya chupa hiyo ni 84 degrees. Degrees 84. Ah uh, it was 100 wakati niliweka. Wakati nilitia moto ilikuwa 100. Siombua if I left the the flask open. Ningeacha hii chupa ikiwa imefunguliwa we would be talking of about 0 or about 1 or 5 degrees Tungekuwa tunanenea joto ya moja hivi ama ya tano hivi because the water the flask was open kwa sababu hiyo chupa imefunguliwa so in the physical in the physical they know the essence of sealing kwa hivyo katika asilia wanajua maana ya kufunika kitu how much more should it be to us in the spiritual ni zaidi vipi kwetu sisi katika mambo ya kiroho we have been given we have been prophesied to we have been told the advantages of of, of the of giving a, a sacrifice we cannot let the sufuria go unsealed we must seal we must seal the blessings that we have received in the month of september tumepokea unabii na pia tukapokea mafunzo kuhusu uh, maana ya dhabiu na hatuwezi atilia tu ni lazima sasa tufunike hizo baraka hayo mafunzo yote ambayo tumepokea katika huu mwezi wa uh, uh, september if chebukati knows the essence of sealing the, uh, the the ballot box then in the spiritual we must seal the box that carries our blessings kama chepukati anaelewa maana ya kufunika ile sanduku ya kura ni vipi kwetu sisi kujua kufunika katika kiroho mambo ambayo tunayapokea our box the, our, the box of our blessings ile sanduku zetu za baraka zetu we must seal ni lazima tukazifunike so that uh, it will not be the, like the fire of banana leaves you know ili sipate kuwa kama ule moto wa majani hayo ya, ya mandizi it is something that can last ni kitu ambacho kitaweza kudumu no wonder the singer sang and said it's gonna be permanent na ndio maana mwimbaji akaomba akaimba na kusema itakuwa ya kudumu i think that uh, singer there is something that had been preached in their church naelewa ya kwamba ni lazima huyo mwimbaji kuna jambo lilikuwa
kuwa limehubiriwa katika kanisa and lao. And they said I can't let it go like that. Na akasema siwezi atilia tu lipite hivyo. Akasema it's going to be permanent. Akasema lazima likuwa la kudumu. What the Lord has done for me. Lile Bwana amenitendea. It is going to be permanent. Lazima liwe la kudumu. So a seal is something that closes tightly. Kwa hivyo funiko ni kitu ambacho kinafunika kwa nguvu. It is something that confirms or ratifies. Ni kitu ambacho kinadhibitisha ama kinaweka uhakika. Yes, kudhibitisha yes. and it also it's also that thing that makes secure. Na ni kitu ambacho kinaweka kitu salama. So tonight we came to ratify. Kwa hivyo jioni ya leo tulikuja kudhibitisha. How many of you are there and they are ready to confirm the blessings? of sacrifice today. Wangapi wako pale na wanataka kudhibitisha zile baraka za dhabihu na jioni ya leo? We also came to confirm. Na tulikuja pia kuhakikisha. And we also came to tightly close. Na tulikuja pia kufunika kwa nguvu. So that uh, it will not be like the seed that fell by the roadside. Ili isipate kuwa kama ile begu ilianguka kando ya njia. And the birds of the air had uh, took advantage of them. Na dege wa angani waka hata kuishughulikia it is a guarantee ni hakikisho it is an assurance ni hakikisho when you look at psalms 126 verse 5 to 6 zaburi tukiangalia zaburi ya 26 126 verse 5 to 6 mia na 26 mstari wa 5 na 6 those who saw in tears or reap with songs of joy verse 6 He who goes out weeping carrying seed to sow will return with songs of joy carrying sheaves with him. Wapanda kwa machozi watavuna kwa kelele za furaha. Ingawa mtu anakwenda zake akilia azichukuapo begu za kupanda. Hakika atarudi kwa kelele za furaha. Aichukuapo miganda yake. There are three things I see here. Kuna vitu vichache ninavyoviona hapa. There is a return. Kuna kurudi. There is a comeback. Kuna kurudi ama kurejea. There is a restoration. Na kuna kule kurudishwa ama This kure... guy went out weeping. Huyu jamaa alitoka pale akilia. But he comes back, he returns. Lakini anarudi. He doesn't just return. Arudi tu. He returns with songs of joy. Anarudi na nyimbo za kelele. He doesn't come with songs alone. Arudi pia tu kwa nyimbo. The songs are a celebration of sheaves of a harvest that he has had. Lakini hizo nyimbo na kelele za mavuno ambayo ameyapata ya miganda. This is our portion. Hii ni sehemu yetu. Even as we close the month of September. Hata tunapofunga mwezi wa Septemba. There will be a comeback. Yaani kutakuwa na kurudi katika maisha yetu. There will be a return with the songs of joy. Kutakuwa na kurejea na nyimbo za kelele. You know where there are songs There are people listening. Wakati kuna nyimbo lazima kuna watu wanasikiliza. Wa, wamezoea kimya kietu for some time. Who oh, are used to our silence for some time? Wamezoea kimya chako for some time. They are used to your silence for some time. They are used to some silence because your children have disappointed for some time. Wamezoea kunyamaza kwako kwa sababu labda watoto wamekuleta chini. They also know that you have gone without food. So there has been some silence wanajua umeenda bila chakula na kwa hivyo kumekuwa na kunyamaza fulani but there is an exhibit that we have been out sowing lakini kuna thibitisho ya kwamba tumekuwa nje tukipanda there will be an exhibit in every family in this church tutakuwa na thibitisho katika kila familia katika hii kanisa and the exhibit will be conveyed through songs of joy na thibitisho itaonyeshwa na kupitia nyimbo za furaha and it will not just be mere singing na kutakuwa tu kuimba as they say ni wale watu tu wa kuimba basi no land ma kuina there will be evidence in the sheaves we come carry kutakuwa na thibitisho kupitia miganda ya mavuno tutakuwa tukibeba there will be a wedding in that family a sheave to show kutakuwa na harusi katika hiyo familia miganda ya kuonyesha there will be children doing well in school kuta sheave to show kutakuwa na watoto wanaoendelea vyema shule miganda ya kuonyesha so we cannot have such such uh, such blessings go down river moon you know yani yani zinaenda tu hivi we must seal them they must be there 
for permanence and for people to see and to glorify the God himself. Atuwezi achilia hizi baraka tuziende hivi vibebo tuna mtu. Baraka ambazo tumezipokea lazima zifunikwe kwa vizazi watu wapate kuziona. You have given your finances. Umetoa fedha zako. You have given your time. Umetoa wakati wako. After this service the heart of worship will be here up to around 2. Baada in practice. Baada ya hii baada praise and worship watakuwa hapa mpaka saa 8 usiku wakifanya practice. Onetha kindu kike inai kinaulika likuwa ni kindu cha kwenda hii kwithwa pe kindu wona nia pemba the winna no ndo akwetha winneta ba masaha nda tukuma saa ina gina saa kumisi akwacha there has to be evidence there has to be exhibit lazima that is what we came to seal today lazima kukuwa na thibitisho lazima kuwa na kitu cha kuonyesha na hicho ndicho tumekuja kukifunikia usiku wa leo rahab you cannot play the guitar and lack something to show for having played that rahab uwezi kucheza ile guitar na ukose kitu cha kuonyesha kwa sababu ya kujitoa kule you know i'm i'm trying to demystify or to to not make you imagine that sacrifice ni pesa na jaribu you know, it's not about money. Na jaribu ni kuonyesha ili jambo ya kwamba wache kuona kama dhabihu ni pesa tu. Somebody sacrificed and arranged those chairs at the back. Kuna mtu alijitoa dhabihu kupanga vile vitu pale nyuma. Akazingizanisha vizuri ndio church ikawa orderly. Iyo, e, akapanga vitu vizuri pale ndio kanisa ikawe sawa. That is sacrifice. Huko ni kutoa dhabihu. Somebody attended to the toilets in the course of the Mtu akashughulikia vyo pale katika siku. During in the day kwa wakati wa mchana so that when you come for the evening service you go to clean toilets ili wakati unapokuja katika ibada ya jioni usipate kusafisha vyo may every sacrifice you have given in this church kila dhabio ambayo umepata kuitoa katika hii kanisa give you a return ikakupatie mavuno the songs of joy na nyimbo za furaha na you carry sheaves with you uka bebe miganda pamoja nawe evidence that god has rewarded you thibitisho ya kwamba mungu amekupatia zawadi it's not going to be temporary haitakuwa tu isiyo ya kudumu it is going to last the test of time itakuwa ya kud dumu mapa yako ile kuta wakati it will not be about you alone haitakuwa jako peke yako it will be about your generation itakuwa kuhusu vizazi vyako vitakavyokuja bwana asifiwe sana praise be to god bwana asifiwe sana bwana yesu asifiwe so what to our morning glory people come in the morning glory don't imagine that uh, ni picha tu mnachukua mnatutumia usifikirie tu it's that's about a photo that you take to send to us occasionally mom comments and says thank you for coming rebecca wakati mwingine mama anatoa comment anasema asante rebecca kwa kuja other times we even don't uh, don't even make a comment wakati mwingine tunakosa pia kutoa comment i pray that that sacrifice will be rewarded naomba ya kwamba hiyo dhabihu itapata kulipa we came to seal tonight. Hicho ndicho tumekuja kufunikia usiku wa leo. I want to give you five ways to seal that that blessing. Nataka kukupatia njia tano za kufunikia hiyo baraka. To seal it, to make it ratify. Kuifunika, kuifanya ikawe ya kudhibitika. To make it your own and to make it permanent. Kuifanya yako na kuifanya ya kudumu. I'm not giving you new things, you already know them. Sikupi vitu vipya lakini utayari unavijua. Number one. Cha kwanza. I want to talk about humility. Nataka kunenea unyenyekevu. The way to seal our our blessing of our sacrifice is through humility njia ya kufunikia baraka zetu za dhabihu ni kupitia unyenyekevu humility is derived from a latin word called humus unyenyekevu inatokana na neno la kilatini ambayo inaitwa humus it means from the ground ambayo inamaanisha kutoka kwenye mchanga ama kutoka chini from the earth kutoka kwenye alt it has an implication that you have to bend to pick that thing na ina maana ya kwamba lazima ukainame ukapate kuchukua hicho kitu it also has a connotation of lowering yourself na pia ina tambo kuhusu kule kujinyenyekesha ama kujileta chini mwenyewe during your own time read john 13 verse 14 to 15 wakati wako mwenyewe ukapata kusoma johana 13 
mstari 14 to 15 mstari wa 14 na 15 and uh, philippians 2:6 to 8 na wa filipi 2 mstari wa 6 mpaka wa 8 maybe ruth you can give us philippians 2 verse 6 to 8 tupatie wa filipi 2 6 mpaka 8 Uh, this is Jesus who being in the very nature of God did not consider equality with God something to be grasped. Verse 7. But made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. Verse 8. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on the cross and then verse 9 i think i should close there therefore god exalted him to the highest place and gave him a name that is above every other name you don't have to interpret that now we are talking about humility tunanenea unyenyekevu as a stamp yani kila mukambo kita stamp na siili wa mwadhimo maitwa latu kwa tete kwisela kweyumia Kama kitu ambacho ni kama stamp ama kitu cha kufunikia baraka zetu wale ambao tumejitoa. I came to tell us tonight that uh, humility is not a sign of weakness. Nimekuja kukuambia kama kujitujiambie jioni ya kwamba ya kwamba unyenyekevu si kuonyesha udhaifu. But it, it is a sign of uh, spiritual strength. Lakini ni ishara ya nguvu zetu za kiroho. Humility is not about yourself. Unyenyekevu si kuhusu wewe mwenyewe. It is about others. Ni kuhusu wengine. The reason why Jesus humbled himself even to death on the cross was not about himself. Sababu ambao Yesu alinyenyekea kunyenyekea mpaka kifo cha msalaba haikuhusu yeye mwenyewe. It was about me and you. Ilikuwa kuhusu mimi na wewe. And that is why today we celebrate salvation. Na ndio maana leo tunasherekea wokovu. And therefore I want to encourage us tonight. Na kwa hivyo nataka tukapata kujitia changa nguvu jioni ya leo. Every day we will we will examine ourselves and ask God to help us to remain humble. Ya kwamba kila siku tutapata kujichunguza na kuwa muomba Mungu akapate kutusaidia. Out of the sacrifices people will get cursed. Kutokana na zidabi watu watapata laana. But that should make us remain humble. Lakini hiyo itatufanya tukabaki tumenyenyeke so that God can be glorified. Ili Mungu akapate kutukuzwa. And so that the blessing can be sealed. Ili ile baraka ikapate kufunikiwa. Because if it is not sealed itaingia zile vitu Pastor Kaumbulu was telling us. Kwa sababu kama haijafunikiwa itapata kuingia vitu vingine kama vile Pastor ametuambia. Humility magnifies God. Unyenyekevu unapata kutukuza Mungu. People will get promoted in this church. Watu watapata stand and magnify God what? for that promotion. Watu watapandishwa vyo katika ili kanisa na kwa hilo jambo watapata kumtukuza Mungu kwa sababu ya hiyo promotion. The God we preach will be magnified through those blessings. Ya kwamba Mungu atapata kutukuzwa kupitia hizo baraka. So humility, humility, humility. Kwa hivyo unyenyekevu, unyenyekevu, unyenyekevu. I'm sure if I asked you to give me an African president. Nina uhakika ningekuuliza unipatie uh, rais ambao ni Mwafrika who was humble ambaye alikuwa mnyenyekevu and we have not forgotten about him although he's dead. Na ambaye hatujamsahau ingawaje ameaga all of you are almost sure would tell me about Nelson Mandela. Nina uhakika karibu nyote mgeniambia kuhusu Nelson Mandela. Something struck me about him this week. Jambo likaninguza sana kuhusu yeye wiki hii. Dan Kilonzo. Dan Kilonzo. Uh, President Nelson Mandela, Pastor Steve. Rais Nelson Mandela mtungaji Steve made his bed all his life alijitengenezea kitanda chake maisha yake yote even when he went for outside his nation and was hosted in big hotels in what we call the presidential suits you know in a presidential suit uh, pastor kaumbulu kuna kuangana attendant amekaa hapo next to the mlango ukijisikia kukohoa unamwambia najisikia kukohoa Ukijisikia kuletewa sando karibu unamwambia leta sando karibu that's a presidential suit you have every 100% attendance 
of the, what you, the service you would want to have. But that man would get into a big hotel. Watch a, watch a, watch a Miriam's. A big a presidential suite. And in the morning, after waking up and taking his shower and dressing up, he would make the bed and now proceed for breakfast. We and rice. you don't have to... Uh, uh, Let me tell you something. What said you can be a jambo? Uh, one time, he went to China. Wakati moja akaenda kule China. Shanghai. Shanghai. That town, eh? Uh -huh. And uh, you know, in the culture of the Chinese, it is wrong for a man to make his bed. Na katika ule maisha ama mtindo wa hiyo inchi, ni tabu ama ni jambo lisilo kubaliwa mwanaume kutengeneza kitanda. So the women were feeling so bad that uh, this man is making his bed. Kwa hivyo wanawake walikuwa waisi vizuri ya kwamba huyu mwanamke anajitengeneza kitanda. So kitanda. Mathias, uh, Nelson Mandela alijibeba akaenda kwa management ya hotel. Aka, he told them, this is me. This is Nelson Mandela. This is what I do. Not just here, but even back home. Allow me to spread my bed for the, the, the rest of my stay in this hotel until I leave. Aka waomba yeye mwenyewe, akapate kutengeneza kitanda yeye mwenyewe kwa wakati wote ambao angebaki katika hiyo inchi. Think about how you treat the hotels when you go there. Fikiria jinsi unavyofanya unapoingia katika hizo hoteli. How do we leave the room? Tunaacha hiyo room ikiwa namna gani? The, 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 the beddings are all over and then we say nimekuka kwa alanye. You know you are there saying nimeushughulikia baba adhukumi. Pe adhukumi ma kwa alanye. So you know it's like uh, it's not my business somebody else will do it. And I kept thinking faith. That's the reason why those ladies come in gloves. Think of how those rooms are left. Some of them in a mess. The bedding soiled. Sometimes even the beddings are soiled. We leave the toilets not flushed because there is a lady that will come to pour water. Na weke hapik. Na sugue. You come with your muddy shoes. You pick. Kuna katawa la wanawekanga hapa next to the bathroom. Unachukua. Unapanguza viatu nayo. Na unaacha hapo. Because somebody will come and pick that towel. And go and wash it. You know it's not your business. There is somebody that will do that work. You know I thought about Mandela and I said I will change. I heard about it to, uh, this week. I said I will change. I will make my bed. Wakitaka watakuja wa yondoe. Na watengeneze tena. Kama wanataka watoe beddings watoe. Na warudishe. I think I learned something. So being a president and making your bed, you don't lose an inch of your presidency. Kwa Kwa wewe ni raisi na kutengeneza kitanda au potezi tu yale mamlaka yako kuwa raisi. Let's be real. Let's be very real. Tuwe wa asilia, wa the, church, the church situation here. Ehe, asilia, sasa kanisani hapa. After Sunday service, baada ya ibada, the seats are all over out there. Viti kila mahali, pale inche. Outside there, they are all over. Zile za Sunday school, zile za watu wakubwa. And then we say, kare nyeba, unu ukumbanya. Kare ni mudhia nyeba, unu ukumbanya. Masani, eh, watoto wamekula, wameacha kila mahali, kare nyeba, una Ruth, ni mekumbanya. Let me tell you something. What's any wambia kitu? Bending to pick that plate. Kuinama tu kuchukua hiyo sahani. And that, that spoon a child of Sunday school ameacha in the wrong place. Na kijiko ambacho mtoto ameacha mahali ambapo wapafai. And taking it to the kitchen. Na kupeleka kule jikoni. Does not reduce the anointing that you carry on the altar for, as a praise and worship member. Haipunguzi ule upako ambao umeubeba katika madabao kama kiongozi wa worship team. You guys have found us cleaning this church. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal to clean this church. Si jambo kubwa kuosha kanisa hili. The way to seal that blessing of sacrifice is through humility. Njia moja ya kufunika hiyo baraka ni kupitia unyenyekevu. We will not leave litter in the church compound and say uh, soja omba ni. Hatutawacha uchafu katika compound ya church. Na tuseme askari ya kusanye. And the Sunday school team will train our children right in Sunday school the essence of humility. Na walimu wa Sunday school watapata kuwafunza watoto wakiwa pale Sunday school maana ya kuwa wanyenyekevu. That when they take the plate to the kitchen after we have fed them, they don't tell the cook, thambia nuo thambasia. Ya kwamba wakimpelekea mpishi pale jikoni baada ya kula chakula, osha ni wewe unaosha. They will be told 
that woman carries your blessings Watambua ya kwamba huyo mama anabeba baraka zako. They wash your plate, they wash your spoon. Wanaosha sahani yako, wanaosha kiziko chako. Respect them. Pata kuwapatia heshima. When you take the plate, give it to them and tell them thank you for cooking for us mudhokoi. Ukiwapa ile sahani, pata kumshukuru na useme asante kwa kutupikia mudhokoi. Sealing our blessings. Kufunikia baraka zetu. Humility all the way. Unyenyekevu njia yote. Hata kama sitazungumzia ingine point yesu ya ali kalora Hiyo point imeingia e. yeah, If the president can If in the physical a president can do that And I, I, I have just remembered I served under a governor Kivutha Kibwana And you know Every time we attended a big meeting somewhere Ataenda akule kwa meza yake vizuri Na nyinyi uh, I mean after you, you have eaten Everybody will walk their way and leave the whatever the the Soviets, nini nini but every time after we have eaten you would see him pick his plate and a spoon na masaviet zenye ametumia i think jacob you know that and carry his plate to where it's supposed to go so you can imagine the the, the irony wale wengine wenye walikuwa wamekaa hiyo meza wote mtu anaondoka hivi hivi yeye ana there is even a time we, we saw him try to assemble the plates zenye zimebaki kwa meza zote anaweka pamoja and we are like god you don't even know where to begin anaona wengine mtu anainuka akaleka kitamba akakuweka hapa kameanguka anafuata naweka kwa meza it never made him a less governor bana asifiwe sana He still the governor and we still adore him for what he did. So I'm telling you humility is the key. Even if zile zingine zote nitataja hapa utapata zinaunganika kwa njia moja ama nyingine na humility because when you are humble you will obey. I'm, I will talk about that. So humility is the key to every other thing that will seal your blessings. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Number two, in a very short way obedience cha pili ni utiifu submission to authority kule kunyenyekea ama kupatia heshima mamlaka submission to god and man kunyenyekea mungu na kunyenyekea mwanadamu by the way do you know rebecca teacher rebecca i had never seen the, the, this, this scripture about jesus getting lost in the temple teacher rebecca sijapata kuona aya maandiko ambapo yesu alipotelea katika hekalu jesus was god Yesu alikuwa Mungu. He had an assignment. Alikuwa na jukumu ama kazi ya kufanya. He even told the parents, "Don't you know I am doing the will of my father?" Akawaambia hata wazazi wake, "Amuelewi ya kwamba nafanya kazi ya baba yangu." But when the parents came back, lakini wakati wazazi walirudi, and they told him, "You have troubled us." Na wakamwambia, "Umetusumbua sana. We have looked for you all over. Tumekutafuta kila mahali." Let's go home. Turudi nyumbani. The guy was anointed. Huyo bwana alikuwa ametiwa mafuta. He was God. Alikuwa Mungu. He was Jesus. Alikuwa Yesu. He never said woman and man proceed home. I am doing the business of my father. Hakusema mwanamke mwanaume tembeeni nyumbani nafanya kazi ya baba yangu. He followed the parents. Alifuata wazazi wake. He first proceeded home. Ya wakatangulia kwenda nyumbani. He proceeded wakaenda nyumbani. Wakaenda nyumbani. And then later on he now got into what he wanted to do. Na baadaye akataka akafanya ile kazi alikuwa anataka kufanya. So the Lord Jesus himself teaches us obedience. Kwa hivyo Yesu mwenyewe anatufunza utiifu. And the Deuteronomy 28 tells us the blessings that come with obedience. Na kumbukumbu la Torati linatukumbusha zile baraka za utiifu. We seal them by obeying. Tunazifunika kwa utiifu. The willingness to cooperate with God and others. Kule kutaka kutaka kushirikiana na Mungu na wengine. To make sure that we, 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 we implement the directions that have been given. Kuhakikisha ya kwamba tunafanyisha kazi ile me, instructions tumepewa. Never look at obedience as coercion. You are being forced. Usiwahi angalia utiifu kama ni kama kwamba unalazimishwa do whatever there is to be done with joy and love lakini fanya ambalo linatakikana kufanywa kwa furaha na kwa upendo obedience is an indicator of our love for that person
utiifu ni ishara ya kwamba tuna upendo kwa huyo mtu and, and even for god na pia kwa mungu therefore obedience does not come from weakness kwa hivyo utiifu hautokani na udhaifu there is a lot of rebellion in schools today kuna ukatili sana katika kama mashule yetu students imagining that i don't have to obey a man Wanafunzi wakiona kwamba hawawezi kutii mwanadamu. Imagine it is a weakness to obey. Na waona kutii ni kama udhaifu. That should be not the case for us as believers. Ilo alifai kuwa letu sisi kama waumini. Obedience is a spiritual strength. Utiifu ni nguvu za kiroho. And it will seal the blessings that we have enjoyed zita from giving sacrifice. Zitapata kufunika baraka ambazo tumezipokea kutokana na kutoa dhabihu. Number 3 chatatu being unselfish stroke selfless kutokuwa na kujipenda wenyewe na kujitakia meme wenyewe putting others before yourself kuwaweka wengine mbele yetu wenyewe letting go na kuachilia leaving our comfort zones for the sake of others kutoka mahali petu pa kupumzika kwa ajili ya wengine serving other people and giving self sacrifice kutumikia watu wengine ya kule kujitoa wenyewe it is about loving others as we love ourselves ni kuhusu kupenda wengine tunapojipenda wenyewe it is about not seeking the reward for yourself but for others ni kuhusu kutojitakia yale ma kwa wewe mwenyewe mema lakini ni wale wengine. Bana asifiwe sana. Praise be to so God. So I pray that today as we pray that we seal the blessings. Na naomba ya kwamba leo tunapohomba ya kwamba tukafunike zile baraka, we will God will open our eyes to see opportunities in the church to serve. Mungu atafungua macho yetu tukaone nafasi katika kanisa za kutumika. Opportunities to put others first. Nafasi za kuweka wengine mbele. Opportunities to value others more. Nafasi za kupatia wengine maana za, zaidi and uh, I want to confirm to you that you will find joy in being unselfish. Na ninakuhakikishia ya kwamba utapata furaha wakati ya ujitakii mema wewe mwenyewe. And there is a reward. Na kuna kutuzwa. Number four, serving. Cha nne kutumika. Very closely to what I just explained earlier. Ambalo linakaribiana sana na lile nimejieleza hapo mbele. To serve is to work for kutumika ni kufanyia kazi mtu mwingine it is to yield obe- your obedience to somebody ni kule kuonyesha utifu wako kwa mtu mwingine it is to perform duties ni kufanya majukumu going to visit mama njoroge when she is in the hospital is service kwenda kumtembelea mama joroge pale hospitali ni kutumika moving out here to preach the gospel with Moses is service kutoka pale nje kuhubiri neno pamoja na Moses ni kutumika and i pray that we will ask god to give us opportunities to serve so as to seal our blessings na ninaomba ya kwamba tutamwomba Mungu atupe nafasi za kutumika ili tukapate kufunika zile baraka serving transforms kutumika kuna badilisha Serving will add value to other people. Kutumika kutatia wa kutatia wengine maana. It brings wholeness. It makes the body of Christ whole. Kunafanya ule mwili wa Kristo kuwa umekamilika. It is an expression of gratitude. Na ni yake ni thibitisho ama ni onyesho la shukurani. So let us find joy in serving here. Kwa hivyo tukapate kuwa na furaha wakati tunatumika. You can't know how 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 happy and how I mean how good we feel when we know that there are people that will serve even when we are away. Uwezi kuelewa ile furaha tunajawa nao tunapojua ya kwamba kuna watu ambao watatumika hata tukiwa mbali. And when we pray from wherever we are, thank you God for those people that came for the morning glory. Na, the blessing is sealed. Na tunaomba tunapoomba tukiwa mbali ya kwamba Mungu bariki wale wamehudhuria maombi ya asubuhi. Hizo baraka zinapata kufunikwa. So find it in your heart to serve so that you can seal the blessings of uh, sacrifice. Kwa hivyo pata nafasi katika moyo wako wa kutumika ili ukapate kufunika zile baraka za dhabihu. Then finally the word ethics. Na la mwisho ni tabia. Zile tabia. Mo- the moral principles. Zile tabia za kinidhamu that govern a person. Ambazo zina zina zinaadamana na mtu. The, the, what makes you 
Yaani kile kinakufanya wewe mwenyewe. What we the, the, the words we describe you use the adjectives that we used to describe you actually that's what i'm talking about yani yale maneno ambayo tutayatumia kupata kukuelezea wewe mwenyewe so as we look forward to sealing the blessings of the month of september kwa hivyo tunapotazamia kufunika zile baraka tumezipokea mwezi huu wa september i want to challenge us to pursue the following nataka kukutia changamoto tukapate kushiga kushughulikia haya mambo to pursue integrity tukafuate mambo ya kuwa na na nidhamu. Na nidhamu. Integrity is uh, what you are even in the absence of the people that know you very well. Nidhamu ni ile ala, yale maisha ambayo utapata kuyaishi wakati watu ambao wanakujua hawako karibu. Pursue integrity. Fuatilia hiyo nidhamu. Uh, what you are when we are not there. Kile ambacho wewe ndicho wakati hatupo pale. That is you. Wewe ndiyo ule. That is Rebecca. Wewe ndiyo icho sasa. The Rebecca that will come for Wednesday fellowship even when she knows that the pastor doesn't know that she came. Rebecca ambaye atakuja katika ibada siku ya Jumatano akijua ya kwamba mchungaji hajui kama nimekuja. Integrity. Hiyo ni nidhamu. Faithfulness. Uaminifu. Honesty about life kuwa na uhakika ama ukweli wa maisha that will seal your blessing hiyo itapata kufunikia baraka zako then being trustworthy na kuwa mtu wa kuaminika uh, being a person that can be trusted kuwa mtu ambaye anaweza kuaminika we tell you go to changani and uh, pray for this mama who is unwell tunakutuma enda pale changani uombe mama ambaye ajisikii vyema you will go without without uh, without necessarily kupiga chenga mahali na utaenda pale bila pia kupiga chenga ama kufuatiliwa being trustworthy kuwa wa kuaminika you can read 1 corinthians 4:2 and luke 16 verse 10 wa korinto wa kwanza nne mstari wa pili na pia luka 16 Lu- verse 10 luka 16 mstari wa 10 and then on this one the last one is uh, just seeking purity of heart na la mwisho ni kule kutafuta usafi wa moyo Uh, taking i mean taking purity as important yani kuchukulia usafi kama kitu cha maana that will uh, will enhance what i'm referring to as ethics hilo litatia nguvu ili ninaloliita nidhamu and uh, it will uh, seal your blessings na litafunika baraka zako so under this you have the word kwa hivyo chini hayo kuna neno you have a prayer kuna maombi you have fellowship na kuna ile ushirika And you must be intentional about it na lazima uwe na kuamua na ku, 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 ku katika kufanya hayo mambo you must you don't do it for the sake of doing it usifanye tu kwa ajili ya kufanya don't go for hbc because it is a tuesday and you don't want pastor steve not to know that you i mean uh, you never went usiende tu shirika wa nyumbani kwa sababu hutaki mchungaji ajue ukuenda uh, do it because you know the importance fanya hivyo kwa sababu wajua maana yake and uh, you will be blessed that way na utapata kubarikiwa so hivyo intentional about the word kwa hivyo ukue na kuta kutaka ama kufanya hivyo ukiwa na kusudi kutaka kusu, ku, word, kusudi la neno uh, so that uh, it's not just CBRM isikuwe tu ni CBRM get something from the CBRM pata jambo kutokana na hiyo CBRM now songs of solomon you will begin to wonder what it is we are looking for there katika iko kitabu cha nyimbo za Solom Suleiman utashangaa ni nini tunapata pale. Wewe soma tu na if you are able look at the commentary and see what it was that they were talking about. Wewe soma tu na upate kuangalia commentary uone ni nini walikuwa wanazungumzia. And then finally embrace accountability. Na cha mwisho kumbatia kule kuwajibika. Be a good steward. Ukawe msimamizi mwema. Take responsibility seriously. Chukua majukumu kwa kumaanisha. You know I am doing a small uh, a small course somewhere. 
Inafanya course kidogo mahali. And you know the, the last month we were doing stewardship. Na unajua mwezi ulioishi wa ulioisha tulikuwa tunashughulikia ule usimamizi. And you know the lecturer told us there are no two ways about rewards. Na huyo mwalimu akatuambia ya kwamba hakuna njia mbili kuhusu hilo jambo. Uh, one re, uh, about rewards. Amba, kuhusu kule kutuzwa. Uh, there are two rewards. Kuna by, kutunzwa mara mbili. By going by Matthew 25. Kulingana na Matthew I, I shared that with Ruth very early on Wednesday was it on Wednesday or a Tuesday morning Na nikashiriki na Ruth ilo siku moja Jumatano Jumatano very early in the morning at Asubui sana at around 3 saa 9 The rewards in Matthew 25 sio mbua madhao yameongolea na itano kama msawe 10 na ina kudheu eh yayo ileba one of them was well done faithful servant that was the first one the word is ilikuwa tu mbili hapa ya kwamba umefanya vyema ruth you can scroll downwards well done faithful good servant umefanya vyema mtumishi ambaye ni wa kuaminika and the other one was evil wicked lazy i can't remember the way the words follow each other ruth si utaramuke mpaka huko chini tuone uh Just before this one the the hapa nafikiri ndipo aliambiwa The one who had received one talent master you uh, okay harvesting what what okay move on uh, then you move on alificha kanini you wicked you wicked wewe well, mtumwa mbaya you baba hii middle ground pastor steve i ngai mbikie ba akate no ni na tatete mm it is either well done or you Ruth kwa wa kesia ndo yako kesia ni boni eme you wicked lazy servant wewe so, mtumishi mbaya ambaye ni mlegevu lazy even in church the the, the 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 groups are two hata katika kanisa makundi ni mawili well done umefanya vyema muimino kile kaka angika na muikwenda you wicked wewe mtumwa mbaya na mlegevu stewardship utumishi and you know there, will, there, there is an accountability at the end of the day na unajua kuna kuwajibika tufikie hapo mwisho wa siku so as i come to a close kwa hivyo ninapofikia kumaliza the key to receiving is giving ule ufunguo wa kupokea ni kutoa kaumbolo the key to ruling is serving na ufunguo wa kutawala ni kutumika Catherine Sila Tumika kabisa kule nyuma tumika kutuwekea maji that's how you rule you are ruling my sister hivyo ndivyo unapata kutawala sio mbua wapatie chakula na uwaoshe masahani you are ruling unatawala the key to ruling is serving ufunguo wa kutawala ni kutumika and the key to experiencing god's glory na ufunguo wa kupata kusherekea ule utukufu wa Mungu is dying to yourself daily. Ni kule kufa kwa nafsi yako mwenyewe kila siku. The key to receiving God's glory is dying to yourself every day. Ufunguo wa kupokea utukufu wa Mungu ni nafsi iliyokufa kila siku. Even today we need to die to self. Hata leo tunahitaji kufa kinafsi so that we can seal we can seal the blessings of sacrifice ili tukapate kufunika baraka za kidabiu anybody that was following as i taught please give me the acronym from those words i have given you zinafuatana tu vizuri there is a h there is an o there is a u there is s and there is e what word is that that's a house that's a house if you forget everything else Ukis... the way to seal your blessing is through the house ukipata kusahau jambo mambo yale mengine yote njia ile ya kufunikia baraka zako ni kupitia house through the house kupitia house uh, humility unyenyekevu obedience utiifu and selfishness kutojitakia mema mwenyewe service kutumika and ethics na nidamu naomba tusimame tuweze kuomba shika mkono wa mtu mtu tuombe pamoja tuambie Mungu atusaidie hii ndio siku ya mwisho ya mwezi wa tisa. 
We are sealing our blessing for the month of September. Tunataka we are telling God to help us, to help us to be humble, obedient, and selfish servants in the house and the people of moral integrity. Uh, fungua kinywa chako tu hatuimbi muweza um, kuombeana pamoja. Oh God, I pray. I pray for my sister this evening in Jesus' name. Oh, as we come to the close of the month, Lord, we are sealing our blessings. We are sealing our blessings for this month in Jesus' mighty name. We are sealing our blessings, Lord. Help us. Help us, Lord, to be humble. Help us, Lord, to be obedient. Help us, Lord, uh, to be selfless. Help us, Lord, to be servants in your house. Help us, Lord. To be people of moral values, people of uh, people that are ethical in what they do in Jesus' mighty name. I pray that you'll find the essence of walking in the values that we have talked about tonight in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus, when we serve you, when we obey you, when we remain pure in you, Jehovah God. I pray in the name of Jesus that you remind us to remain humble. When you will bless us with those blessings that we have, uh, uh, we have received in the course of the month and the blessings that are yet to come, Lord, help us to remain humble in Jesus' name. Help us to remain people that are obedient to your word and to the people in authority in Jesus' mighty name. Jehovah God, we bless you. We honor you. We glorify your name. We derive joy in spiritual strength this evening in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we bless you and we honor you. We glorify your name. Jehovah Father, in Jesus' name, Baba katika jina la Yesu Christo, we thank you, we bless your name for this night. Tuna kushukuru, tuna bariki jina lako jioni ya leo. We pray, I pray this night for uh, these members that came. Ninaomba kwa ajili ya awa mpao wa mekuja. We are on the last day of the month of September. Tuku wakatika siku ya mwisho ya mwezi wa September. Great are the things that you have spoken concerning our lives. Makuni mampu ambayo umayanena kusu maisha yetu. Through prophecy through your word. Kupitia unabi. Even through revelation, Jehovah Father. Tonight we don't want to lose those blessings. We don't want to lose focus on those blessings. And so we come to you praying that Lord you will help us to build the house. In humility. In obedience. In unselfishness. In serving others and you. Katika kutumikia wengine na wewe. And being people that are ethical in what they do. Na kuwa watu wa nidamu kwa yale ambao tunayatenda. CCI Church will enjoy permanence of blessings. Katika kanisa la CCI tutafuraia udumu katika baraka. Because we will practice what your word has told us tonight. Kwa sababu tutafanya yale mambo neno lako limetufunza jioni ya leo. Bless everyone that came. Bariki kila mmoja ambaya likuja. And bless our online viewers, oh God. Be good to us even over the weekend. When you grant us to meet here again on Sunday, remind our hearts to be grateful to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you our online viewers for being with us. Asante watazamaji wetu kwa kuwa nasi. May the Lord bless you. Enjoy your evening. Bwana Mungu awabariki sana na mfurahie jioni yenu. Today Faith will close the service for us. She will receive the offering. Jioni ya leo Pastor Faith atatufungia